Okay, let's take a look at what's going on here. Um, first thing you have to do is uh, correct these um, issues right here, and then we can move on. So I'm just going to take the first one here. It says it's under the fire projectile script, and it's telling me um, that you need to rename one of the scripts to a unique name. So what it's telling you is there are two scripts inside of your project with the same name. So let's just see um, what's going on here. So I'm actually on the welcome screen, and you had one associated with the uh, GUI. So let's see, that's not that one. So let me open up another um, scene. That's your wins theme. Let's open up this one right here. So, we have your first person shooter. And you have a fire projectile script associated with this. So, here's one fire projectile script. Assets, fire projectile, assets, GUI, okay. So let's look under your GUI. I'm just going to remove this one. And see what I'm doing was in your console it said you had one fire projectile script in your GUI folder and one in your main assets folder. So I removed the one in the GUI folder. So you still have this one right here. We come back to your camera. And so we're missing a script. So now I'm going to add that script right here. And let's see what happens. We have it going on. That was the issue. You had two scripts with the same name. One was in your GUI file. One was in your assets folder. This is why it's very important within the assets folder to create specific folders like um, in your main assets folder. Let me just go back here. So in your main um, assets folder right here, what you'd want to do is create a texture folder, a scenes folder, a script folder, a prefab folder, a materials folder and then incorporate all your work within these folders so everything is in its proper place. Um, so, uh, no audio clip because I kind of removed that so I add the audio clip. So once again, those two little errors where you had two of the same script. One located under assets and one located under GUI. Remove the GUI script and utilize the asset script, you will have to go back and associate the fire projectile with the main camera. So hopefully that takes care of everything.